Well, it is time now for our weekly segment, The Brief, our collaboration with the LA Times. Ahead of the 4th of July holiday, you may notice that several fireworks shows along our coastlines, as we've been reporting, have been canceled or are awaiting approval due to new environmental protections put in place. LA Times writer Grace Tui joins us now with more on this. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. So some of these fireworks shows in L.A. County, uh, like the one in Redondo Beach, were canceled altogether for 4th of July. Explain how that's connected to these new environmental regulations. Yeah, so this has kind of been a long time coming. There's been a big argument about whether or not fireworks uh, create any issues over waterways. You know, are they, um, you know, dumping trash or debris or chemicals into waterways? And so there's a new permitting process that the water board just put into effect and so what happened is they have more stringent regulations for these shows that go over waterways and so some uh, companies who do these fireworks shows uh, actually decided that they did not want to comply with these regulations this year they said you know they didn't have time to really get them up and running and, and make sure that they could safely um, adhere to these regulations and put on the shows and so that kind of ended up canceling some of the shows across the region so what are the concerns with fireworks shows when it comes to marine life and the waters yeah so that's kind of still under investigation at this point and that's one of the big reasons that they want more regulations and one of the regulations that the water board is requesting is is more monitoring so they actually want to have visual monitors during these shows to see what is getting dumped into the water you know is there physical debris is there chemical debris can you actually see trash going into the water um, we know that fireworks shows impact our air pollution we see that every year in Los Angeles quality of air goes down after the 4th of July but there's they want more research into waterways um, there was a recent federal lawsuit that found that uh, fire, one fireworks show in 2022 did actually um, put uh, debris into the local waterways. And so they're looking into, you know, what is the actual extent of that? How is it affecting marine life? Um, and we'll be finding out that more, I think, as they become more regulated. And so quickly before I let you go, which ones are canceled? And why are only some of them canceled and which ones will actually go on? Yeah, like you mentioned, there are a lot of shows that are working with the water board to get these new permits. Um, but there's one company that that um, does a lot of the shows in Southern California, and they decided not to go on. So there are two shows in Redondo Beach that have been canceled, and those are you know two big ones. So those are the the main ones that we've heard from. And then there's a few other shows, one in Malibu, um, and it sounds like maybe one in Long Beach. Two smaller ones that were put on by private people uh, that won't be going on today. But most of the other big ones should be going on, as far as we know. Okay, well, a lot of people will be interested in this as they, they plan their holiday celebrations. Thanks so much for joining us and looking into that for us. And you can read the full article on this topic by scanning the QR code on your screen. You can also find all the information for this segment by going to our website, kcalnews.com. Jamie.